Okay. All right, it's one minute before six. We're going to start the meeting early because we like to be early. Um, to start with, approval of the minutes from the last. I make a motion to accept the minutes of the last meeting of the March 20th meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Tonight, uh, we will be having discussion and vote on fiscal year 2019 budget items. We will, directly, we will be directly voting on operating capital, miscellaneous funding requests, Community Preservation Act requests, and other finance related warrant articles for the 2018 annual town meeting. Okay, so we will, uh, we will take a look at the numbers. We will have a discussion period about the numbers. We will take a vote on the numbers. Um, prior to that, we have guests. Frontier Regional has come in, and I understand that Frontier um, has a meeting right after this. So we're going to try to help them out by getting to their issues first and foremost. Brian, do you want to give us a Yeah, I would suggest we switch A and B on the agenda. Okay. Just get into the capital project first. That way they can get out of here and get over to Sunday morning. That makes all the sense in the world. And I don't see any reason why not to just start with that. And then we can take from the top if you want. Okay. Um, who is going to speak for Frontier? Who wants to speak for Frontier? Bob Lesko. Okay, Bob. I'm basic, basically here with, with our proposal um, to purchase a tractor to replace a smaller tractor we have at school. Um, I brought a detailed breakdown of the pricing on the tractor and the additional components that we want to order for it. And I wrote up about a page of, of background information. Um, if you'd like, I can kind of go through that whole thing, or do you want to just... Why don't you just talk to us about it, um, and the need, uh, what kind of research you've done um, re regarding its replacement, and um, the utility so of the... Basically, look, well, we're, we, we use two pieces of equipment that primarily does all of the mowing that we do at Frontier. Um, we mow approximately 20 acres. That's a combination of the high school and early heat field. Um, we have two mowers that we use. One is a small John Deere diesel tractor. Um, the other is a Toro Groundsmaster. Um, both are reaching an age where we're going to be looking in the new next few years to replace them. Um, this year we've come to the towns with a request to replace the John Deere. Um, we're looking for a slightly bigger tractor to replace what we currently have. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a smaller tractor that does not have a three-point hitch. We're looking for a little bit um, bigger tractor, a subcompact sub -contact utility tractor. That will allow us to utilize some pieces of equipment that we um, had previously with, with an older tractor that we're not looking to replace. Um, we're looking to buy a tractor that has a mower on it. Um, we want a tractor that's the right size that we can still get it on a trailer and trailer it down to uh, Hurley Field. Okay. Um, we're looking to buy a tractor, a mower, a loader. Um, no blower. A tractor, a mower, a lower loader, a snow blower, and a rotary broom. Okay. And that's going to replace some other pieces of some small pieces of equipment that were separate um, devices. So you know, we just kind of feel that that this is a this is a good purchase. Um, it's going to be a really versatile piece of equipment. Um, it gets a lot of use during the mowing season. That mower is probably going 20 hours a week. Um, with somebody on it and having it with the attachments and the other devices will put us in a position where we'll get more use out of it. You're right. Thank you. Any questions, comments um, for Bob regarding the tractor? 
How come only one quote? How come only John Deere? How come only John Deere? How many hours are you going to put out of the year? And is it big enough? It's bigger than what we currently have. I, I understand and it's, that. And we want to keep it small enough so that we can <clears throat> still get it on the trailer and move it around. Um, we've got to get equipment down a Hurley as it is the Toro mower is too big to bring on the trailer. You know, a typical day down to uh, Hurley Heath Field, we have two guys go down there. One pulls, takes a pickup truck and, and pull, pulls a uh, trailer that has the mower in it. And sometimes we bring a sand throw down there. Sometimes we bring, often we bring trimmers and that sort of thing. At this point, yep. the reason that I've used John Deere's pricing um, is it's the state contract pricing and it's the vendor we use for all of our service. Um, when we get down to the wire on it, we will, we will do some competitive bidding, but I would be very surprised if someone comes in at less than this pricing. Okay. So Bob, you mentioned the other mower. Uh, what's the intention <laughs> with the Toro? The Toro? Um, we had a lot of work done in that again this year. We just replaced the fuel injectors on it. Um, that's a, as you know, Joe, that's a really good piece of equipment. Um, but I would say in the next couple of years, we're going to be coming back and, and looking to replace that too. So, as, I mean, as you know, that was never a, <clears throat> that wasn't bought as this is what we need. That was bought as, you know, what we could afford at that, mm -hmm. at that time. So, you know, previously it was a wing mower and a tractor. Yep. Um, so, which is certainly going to be a lot more affordable. And why I'm going in that direction is if we get into that position where all of a sudden we need to replace that Toro, what are we replacing it with? Are we replacing it with a tractor and a wing mower, which is somewhat affordable? Are we going to look to replace it a 4,000 or a 580D or something like that? That's to the $70,000, $80,000. Level. That, that's a fair discussion, and at this point, um, we, we've had good enough luck with the Toro, and you know we have worked done on it again this year. I'm guessing it's going to carry us through another couple of years, but when we get ready to replace that, you're absolutely right. We're going to have to balance that against the possibility of a full-size tractor and, and the wing mowers and find out which is more cost-effective and what's going to do us better. Or maybe, and that, maybe reason, we'll luck out and find another use. And the reason I'm asking that is, is you know, I, I hear the rumbling right here, like, is this thing going to be big enough for us? And, you know, I, I would agree with them that I don't think that, you know, it, it's big. It's, it's taking the place of a small 60-inch mower. And we're putting a little bigger tractor and it's still the same 60-inch mower on it. Um, and I just want to make sure that we are, we do have the right, I, I don't know if the bucket and all that stuff is going to do exactly what you want. I guess that's, that's, that's my, that's what, just my question. And I guess it should be a full package idea of what you're going to do. You know, there should be a plan in place to say, this is what we want in a couple of years when this Toro mower doesn't run it. It's just, it's, it doesn't make sense for us putting more money in. Well, you know, honestly, after having the Toro mower for several years, you know, the efficiency and the utility of that thing really puts us in a position where initially that would be our request. Whether that ends up playing out or not is, is very difficult to say. You know, there, there's so many different ways you can go at this. Um, what I've done is sat down with the guys that are doing the mowing and the maintenance and, and had a long talk with them about which way they'd rather go and which device they'd rather get repaired for now. And where we came to was replacement of the John Deere with something as close to it as we can get, but something that'll be as versatile as we can make it be. If you're gonna mow 20 acres with this one, what's the Toro doing? Those two mowers are going. The two, the two of them mow. The mow, they're mowing. not just the John Deere. Yeah, we have two. You know, during the mowing season, things grow really good, and we're we're on the. We've got two pieces of equipment that's out there mowing a good percentage of the day every day. I believe that. Um, so, Bob, if I understand you correctly, 
If you were to get a larger mower, would that require a new trailer? I would well, know if we if we got a larger tractor, we would do what we used to do with the older tractor, and that is register it and drive it on the road back and forth rather right, than trailing it. Right, sure. sure. That's okay, no. okay, that's our show. Um, it's not that much. No, I mean, how are the other towns reacting to, to this? Um, have you gotten affirmation from them? I think I'd like to do the, do, speak to that a little bit more at the other town. Sure. Um, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Just how are the other towns reacting to this? Are they supporting it? Are they in Well, to be honest with you, we're on our way to Sunderland. Uh -huh. um, and we're on our way to Deerfield tomorrow night. Okay. My understanding is that we have presented more information. I think in the beginning they didn't understand. We also have this bulleted information and the narrative that goes with it, why it is important. Right. So. And the other towns, to be honest with you, uh, it's the reason why we went into deeper detail is because one of the towns, uh, Selectman, thought he could pick it up a lot cheaper than what we were asking for. So we needed to show the background, the homework, the research that went into procuring this cost and asking for the thirty-five thousand. Uh, do you, Brian? Do you remember how much we're asking the town lately? What our piece is? <coughs> Just over four thousand. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, four thousand four dollars. Right. right. So that's yeah. So. The other towns, I, be, I believe, will be able to, once we sit down and talk with them. Sunderland is having a pre-meeting meeting, and I'm going to make, um, we, they'll have tables around, and I'm going to make a poster kind of a, mm -hmm. uh, advertisement for it, so yeah. that they understand. For this? For that? <coughs> we are talking Sunderland. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and we're looking for a lot of people, too, so we have to be yeah. very... Um, so here's here's my two cents on it. Um, you know, I have some knowledge of the operation and everything, doing that for for a couple of years, um, and the knowledge of my current position of cost and things like that. Um, I I do think it's important to really take a look at down the road what you're going to be looking at instead of just reacting to a situation that is coming up right now. So that's that's number one. Number two is I think we should have probably had this in front of us a little bit earlier. But with that being said, $4,000 isn't going to stop us from opening the doors next year. So um, I would support that. Also, doing uh, being part of this operation at one point, I would say probably the, the best thing that you're Two things that you're looking at getting here are probably the snow blower and the broom. The mower, I think, you, you can continue on with what you have until forever. But knowing that you want to have things cleared and as safe as possible and, and, and all that stuff, you know, I would probably even maybe recommend getting some sort of uh, uh, a, a salt spreader or something like that, you know. Because I, you know that's that's your name of the game. When the doors are open, you better be cleared. You better be safe. So um, that's my two cents on it. I think it's you know I think it's an important piece of equipment. I do think it's you know that's something that currently you don't have. And um, so uh, that's where I stand. I, I I support the thought of it. I think it, you know again the price for Waitley isn't astronomical at all. Um, and I think it's certainly something that um, is needed by the school and I, but I'm not going to tell you what you need and what you don't need as far as equipment and even though I just did but um, you know as far as your whether it's John Deere Kubota you know sweepers all that stuff um, you know that's your job not not mine so okay very good any other comments thanks thanks Bob. Um, <coughs> on this Brian is this something we need to to be it'll be a one article on it Oh, oh, okay, uh, so do I have a... You don't need anything. We don't need anything? No, it'll, it'll be a Warren article. It's going to be a Warren article. Oh, that's right. Article. Okay. So, so do you recommend it? But we have to recommend it. You want to recommend it? Oh, the Warren article. On oh, the Warren article. article. Yeah. Not on that, on the Warren article. Do I have a motion to re recommend the Warren article? I make a motion we recommend it as a Warren article. Do I have a second? Second. Sure. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. It's on the work.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank Let's, uh, let's make sure we're operating off the same page here. Yeah. Okay, so we get this uh, this draft here. <coughs> draft operating budget. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Um. Last page. Last page. The last page. Okay. Um. You look at the last page though. If you notice the last page is cap capital project. Um, okay. Okay, we'll just take from the top, then we'll move down. Um, the, um, although we do have individuals here representing the, I'm sure, um, want to have a discussion of some sort regarding the town hall, right? Um, do you want to do that first? Sure. I, th I, think, I think that would be, I think it would help some pe people out here. Um, so let's, uh, let's just get into the uh, town hall building, um, whereas we have uh, 34 in debt, or free cash, 85 and nine, um, taking 16 from the special revenue account. Um, $102,000. And then on top of that, we also have what came across our desks at the last meeting was the, um, the, the request for additional funds. And I want to thank Donna Wiley for um, sending an, an informative letter to us all. Um, so let's talk about the, about the Waitley Town Hall project. Okay. Um, the last time, last time meaning last meeting, Fred gave us a little ov overview of what was needed um, in additional monies. I think we, we asked some questions as to whether or not CPA funds could um, handle any of that um, overage and um, didn't feel so at the time. So is there one spokesperson that would like to speak about? Fred? No, go I'll, I'll go start speaking, I guess, as, as chair of the Municipal Building Committee. Uh, this is what we've come up with. Is the hundred two thousand we're asking for now to complete the project? This will complete everything that needs to be done. This is it, one time deal. This will be done by June. Uh, it's going to be done by June. Or they get the money or not. <laughs> Pardon? It's going to be done by June when they have the money or not. Well, they won't all be done by June if we don't have the money. Uh, we're asking to complete everything that was was proposed, and as you know, before only. Uh, there was two bid alternates, the parking lot in the front and sidewalk included there. And the second alternate was the new septic leach field, which we're not going with at this time. So we did not have money to do either alternate when we awarded the contract here in November. And now we're asking for some additional money to do the bid alternate one, which is the front parking lot, sidewalk, and the ramp in the front and uh, I guess you've seen the comments from the Historical Society on, on why some of the improvements are, are important, necessary, right. how they affect the operation of, of the building. Uh, and I, I guess the, the building committee feels, feels the same way that we're there, this is the time to do it. We've got a contractor willing to do it. We've looked at some of his prices of what he wants to do this work. It's, it's reasonable. The, the total for the bid alternate one is what he bid on when he submitted his original bid last uh, October. <coughs> and that price is comparable with the other five bidders that bid on the project. He's, he's in, in that range, uh, the average of, of that. So he's not trying to skim us for more money by that, adding that alternate. 
and so it would cost us at least that much or even more if we did not do the parking lot and that ramps this time of year, this time. So, so Fred, if it was so important to get done, why was it not included in the project cost? Because we wanted some leeway if, if we didn't have enough money. We don't. If, if the, no, we don't. the bids came in high, which they did, we had no idea that they were going to come in high. You, when you advertise and we put the, we put our price out there of the 1.1 million, they came in at 1.3. We we had some leeway with these two bid alternates. If they came in lower than 1.1, well, maybe we would win with everything because we had the money. Well, that's right. But, but we didn't. Saying, but we didn't. The reason we didn't do this was because the bids were too high. Right. Now, okay, let me finish. And so now. They were too high, we don't have the money, but yet we want to do it anyway. <clears throat> right? Well, some of this right? Is, is that right? Of, not completely. Some of this is required. So, okay, so if it was required, was it, why was it not part of the bid, if it's required? Because we, we didn't know... Exactly. Maybe because some of, because it was, because we didn't know the extras that were going to occur. If we did it on day one, when the contractor started on November 1st, we could have probably added this, but not include any other extras. And as I showed you before, the extras have added up to fifty, sixty thousand. Exactly. So we were underfunded to begin with. With what with what we had for contingency was underfunded. I mean that that came out our last meeting that there wasn't enough money in there. So again, now we're trying to get something done here that we wasn't budgeted for, that we don't have the money for. But yet it was okay when we all voted on this thing to get it done. No, Not ta to get it. no taxpayer no money. No taxpayer no. money. And, and, and we had money for the, the uh, 1.4 total funds, 1.4 million, whatever, to do that. And we had the backup of CPA to, 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 fund, to fund part of it if, we, if the bids, uh, if we needed their money. And that's what we, what we focused on. But the contractor told us when we met in, in November or shortly after that and decided whether do we want to ask for more money or not at, at back then. And we said, no, we only had a limited amount of, of contingency, which was about half of what they recommended. In the beginning of the project, they recommended you have an X dollar amount in there. We did not have Shame that. on us. What we, what we waited for was the Friends of Town Hall to finish their fundraising, which they did. They came through with all the money they promised. We couldn't obligate that in November because it wasn't in our books. You can't you can't commit funds that you don't have. That's right. That's what you're other, asking us to do. Wait a minute. The other thing we were waiting for was we applied for an ADA grant in in, uh, well, in in December, and we were supposed to know January 15th whether we got money from that ADA grant. That grant would have been over two hundred thousand dollars that we applied for. If we got that grant, we wouldn't be here asking for this money. We yeah, but you can't count on that, as you just said. You can't count on that stuff. But we didn't know that until so this, you know. You just didn't know that until you're spending money that you don't have. Okay, hang on a second. Ju Go ahead, Judy. Um, we spent a lot of time about talking about what isn't there, and I'm thinking maybe we should step back and look a little bit at what is there. Um, of the 1.4 million that, that is there, I, I don't know, you saw the, the first column looking at all the sources of funds. I don't know that you've looked at it broken out. The amount of money that Wheatley has put into this project so far, counting all the CPA money, or the town's part of the CPA money, is only 733000 out of that 1.4. We have exactly half, or just about half, mm -hmm. of the money from the state and from private donations. And I don't think there's another project in town that's yeah. worked that way. I mean, you just like buy one, get one free. And I can tell you from having worked on this, Fred mentioned the Friends of Town Hall. Last November, or, or at least last town uh, meeting, we were sitting here with $75,000 and committing to one hundred and fifty. 
and the townspeople came through. We had another 75,000 from over 100 people, all from all over town. Retirees, brand new people in town, $25 gifts, five-figure gifts, but all over. And people really, really want this building. And they want it right. We have support from over 26 local businesses. You mean by support? What do you mean by that? Money. Okay. Um, and <coughs> the one question we had going into this in the beginning, over and over, is there going to be enough parking? And that that's an issue. I mean, if we do not redesign this parking space, we lose five spaces. And five spaces in this project is huge. We also lose good drainage, improved runoff drainage, and there's there's some basic safety issues. There are more there are more traffic accidents in front of town hall than any other place in town now. The sheet ice coming off the poor drainage is a safety problem. So this is important to the town. The town supports it, and the town really has not invested. You know, it's, it's a lot of money, but you've, you've got a, a lot, lot more. A lot of money. Yep. You've gotten a lot more back um, than you would ever have. I, mean, I hear you, and I, I think I think we all have um, have a certain stake in the project. Um, regarding the project as a whole, um, it's a little bit underfunded at this point. Um, that being the case, I would have expected that you would have come forth um, with maybe a bare bones price moving forward, things that could maybe be put off to another time. I, I think possibly when speaking to this group, there has to be a diligence factor here regarding things like window sills. I mean, Fred, the fact of the matter is, you, sh you should have ran up and down this guy's backside when he told you this. We, we did not know that when we awarded the project, and the window guy now is telling us that you need, you need to do that. The, the, the window guy, the, the contractor, the, uh, the grant authority, the uh, Mass Historic Preservation, is all saying you need to repair the window sills. Now is the time to do it. Absolutely, I'm, I'm not so saying we're, it's, it's something that we did not know about six months ago when we were designing a project. There's some you things, didn't know about it, but right. we're but we're paying somebody who should know about it. Well, that's that's the, another story. That's the diligence. Take it depends on how, how much time you want to spend refining all the fine details of the project, and you can't do all of that. And we could not do all that until we, or unless we opened up part of the project, part of the building. And we were not going to hire a contractor to make holes in the building here and there to find out what was, what was needed, what was structurally deficient. We didn't do that. It was in the project, in the bid, and we told the contractor there's things we do not know about. That's bad business. <laughs> you know, yeah, what happens on a lot of... Right, and it's an old building, right? I live in an old building, and I know that. Yeah. You know, so if you're not doing it, okay, that's bad business. You're playing with other people's money. And, and again, I'll say this, $100,000, you know, I mean, I would say that the project was mismanaged. Bottom line is, it was mismanaged. Well, we're, we're so far into we're it so now, far we can't get out of it. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. I just have all sorts of questions right about it. You know, <laughs> why wasn't this, what's so hard to have asked for 1.546? Right, but we have didn't to think that would fly. That's right. right. I mean, so we, we forced this project, you know, because uh, to a number that we thought would fly, and now we're one hundred and two thousand dollars to the bad. We, <clears throat> I don't remember what our original goal was. Not the one point four six. We applied for three other grants, 
that would have put us way over this amount. We didn't get any of it. We did not know. But that's we the thing spent. is that you can't you can't be counting on those things. If we were going to count well, them, then we should have put this behind it until we found out whether we got the grants or not. Okay. Well, two of the grants the CPA is, is funded has agreed to fund. Uh, what we didn't get for two of the grants. The third one we had no idea whether we were going to get it or not, or what the backup plan was not for the third one. We were assuming the condition of the building and talking to different people that were involved in the grant awards that we had a very good chance. And that's what we waited for in January. We waited for their money, and it never came. Brian spent hours, that's Brian. He submitted an application. What did he have to do to submit that application? There was a lot of time on the town staff <coughs> to do that. We were serious. We are going for $225,000. Mm -hmm. for that grant. I get you. We all know you have all spent an inordinate amount of time mm -hmm. on the project, yeah. and we thank you for every minute that you spent on it. Mm -hmm. At the same time, these dollars, our job is to say to the town, we think after looking at everything, the diligence part, part of it, that we think yes, this is the way to go, or no, this is not quite the way, the way to go. And I think when you look back and you think about this whole project, not just last year, not just the year before, but go back three years. Six years this, to go back. This, this was a $3.9 million yeah. project that the town was not in back of. Right. Okay, town is in back of this because of the reduction, because of the constant information stream about how the impact on taxes was going to be minimal if anything at all and I understand we all understand we have to do the ramp we have to do the front it looks like we're good we got to do the window sills but it would seem to me that just from a goodwill standpoint you sit back you sit back and say Front park, parking lot. Come on, we've got a we've we've got a, a a terrific road crew. These guys tar everything. These guys can put in drainage ditches all day long. There is no reason on God's green earth why we need to have that particular contractor do that part of the job. Well, they don't do concrete work. And part of this is a sidewalk in front and a ramp. And, and uh, our highway department does not do that. So you'd have to contract out. They would hire somebody, contract out to do that. And you're not going to get much different than the $70,000 to do that. To, do, con ju to ju do just the concrete work? We didn't, we didn't do that. We got a price for the ramp from the contractor. Right. And it's, it's about half of this, what he's required to live. Close to half of what it is. For, the, for all of bid off that one. So for Keith to do the parking lot and then turn around and advertise for bids to do the do the ramp and the sidewalk and <coughs> the front and, and it's gonna be more than this. But I thought the last meeting you broke it out for us. What percentage of this number um, represented the parking lot and the drainage? I think we asked him to get Well, the front, the front ramp railings, you, you're talking sidewalk and steps, and you've got to have some work between the, the, the post office and the town hall. You're looking, you're looking at $55,000, $55,000, dollars $60,000. That's the price we were given. That's for concrete work. All of that? Well, you know, some, ex sidewalk. some excavating, putting foundation in for the, <coughs> for the sidewalk, for the, for the ramp, railings, handicap railings. And that's it. That's, that's about... So that compared to, yeah. well, compared to the to 78000 I mean, you're half, more than half the price to do that. So for the extra 40000 is it worth fixing a parking lot the right way to get more parking there, to delineate spaces so everybody knows where they're going to park? You can't do that today because there's not enough width. Fred, you, you, need to narrow, you need to narrow the island down to get more width to get the more spaces in there. 
And if you look at the condition of the parking lot today, I was there the other day by the street, by the by the uh, island. It's in rough shape. You're just not gonna. You may be patched, but you, you're not gonna just do a quick stone and oil overlay because it needs more than that. So for the additional the difference in price right now, where the contractor is willing to do that, that's why we're asking for all of this money. To do it now and be done with it. And it's only needs to be done once, that's it. Otherwise you're gonna come back in the next year or two asking for piecemeal to do parts of it. But Keith I mean, told us it was a good price for the parking lot. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't know, and I would have to take his word for it yeah. and your uh, word for this. But um, he couldn't do it for anybody. I think so. I mean, the number I think is is what it is, and I would probably agree with with Keith for the yeah. work and the scope of it. What I think, okay, needs to be done is somebody needs to stand up and say, "How did we get into this situation?" That's what I want to know. I mean, so we don't continue to repeat this. This building has been one of those things that continues to grow in scale every time. And now we started doing it. Now we're in that position where we don't have enough money. So I think somebody needs to stand up and say, this is how we got into this situation. This is why we're asking taxpayers for money right now. And, and the reason for that was because the bid's coming higher. All the no, no, that's not. No, that's not. We've already been through it. The reason why is because you didn't include this necessary work in the bid. That's why we don't have enough money. That's a fact. Well, I'm not going to argue with it, but... I would exactly, because there's things would we would lose. Did not know. We did not know that, and we didn't want to spend the money for, for a demo contractor to hire somebody to to investigate the building. There's no it's demo contract. Right. Right. What are we talking? We're talking about a parking lot and a sidewalk. No, no, right? I'm talking inside. But be, the because we had insignificant contingency. No. That's what you're talking about. No, I'm talking, I'm talking about other. why we did not have the ramp and we did not have the parking lot in there for $102,000 now. Why was that not included in the bid? Because we we wanted some flexibility with like the, the bids coming But now you're saying you need it. Yes, we need it now. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm saying. So what get, get up and answer, and answer the questions of the townspeople then. I guess, I mean, you're not answering mine. You don't answer mine. It started, the whole thing starts with the higher bids that we didn't anticipate. They come in 30% higher. We had 1.1, they come in 1.3. And every six contractors were, were higher than that. Came in at that price. So I don't build so, buy a house, but I only want to pay this much. And the guy selling it doesn't want to drop his price down here. Do I still buy the house just because I want it? The, the, the yeah, other, that's what we did. The, the other option would have been to do less. And what you would have had for less, the second floor would not have been accessible. If you didn't have the money, this job shouldn't have went out to bid. If you didn't have the money. We had we had money for the for, that's water for over some of the extra stuff. Well that's where you should stop that. Well then we're not doing any more. We'll stop today and won't do anything. Then you're gonna have to decide in the future. Well th that's that's not gonna happen. Hang on a second. Bob. What is the five extra parking lots gonna do for everyday use other than loading days and for the way we get? We vote here. Oh, so I don't even vote don't there anymore, so we don't, you know, excuse me, I shouldn't know that, but. Yeah. So why is, what are we gonna get for five extra parking lots? And what different, they're gonna be draining, it's gonna go down the road, just like it does now, it's gonna no, run it's gonna stop, it'll stop, it's gonna run into a catch basin in front of the next house down the road. And then where's it going? So, so five extra parking lots is just going to benefit the wait, uh, waiting in. No, I think you're forgetting um, that this is going to be a community in the post center office. and it's going to five be extra parking lots is going to be. It's going to be used the in the daytime. Society. There are going to be activities there. The historical society. But, Once a month. But, but the record has five parking spaces. spaces. We're not talking about five parking lots. Okay. Oh, five parking spaces. 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 No, spaces. everybody has been saying parking lots. And it's five additional five vehicles. Cars. Five there, there are going to be groups meeting there, the historical societies can have its museum there. But other people be, meet there now. Not saying you don't need a hundred two thousand dollars. No, 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 people no. meet who who no, 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 well, no, no one's using the building right this minute, but before the demolition, who was using the building? <coughs> well, Sess's office and um, well, you had the you had the Grange. The Grange was in there. So, well, I think there was a, veterans. 
there wasn't much meeting activity during the day. When there was, there were parking problems. I think we're going to anticipate a lot more activity I, I, during I, the day, and there will be. Well, we can use the wait in at that time. Yeah, if, that's if, a good point. <laughs> if it was, um, you know, if this was a private concern and it was my company, I would have to say I already hire people. I, I already employ people that are capable of doing that at another time. And if there's some, something I'm not catching that it has to be done prior to the grand opening, well, I kind of miss that, but. Um, Paul Manson. Sure. Um, uh, not so much from the historical commission's point of view, but just from a citizen's point of view. Um, first of all, I think the criticisms about the timing and lack of communication are, uh, and as I think you know, not for lack of a lot of people doing a lot of work, but it's a little late in the game, and that's the way it came down, in part because, as Fred said, the last um, response to the for, to the grant that wasn't funded actually didn't come when we thought it would. It came later. Nonetheless, it's a fair criticism. Um, when the town decided to purchase this building three years ago, I think, um, at the town meeting where we voted to do that, we hoped that we would spend not a dollar more on that. In fact, over the next 18 months, we spent nearly $200,000 more one special town meeting after another for perfectly reasonable things, perfectly reasonable things that were not known. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't a building that was built, this was not a building that was built in 1844. You know, you get into a, I think in part what, um, I mean, the Historical Commission has not become part of the building committee, but we've been meeting together for at least three years, yeah. <laughs> a lot. Um, I think, the um, wish to finish the job, we have good engineering drawings for the parking lot. Um, if we don't increase the use of that building, if we've just built a little mausoleum that looks beautiful from the outside, shame on us. Because it wouldn't have been worth a hundred thousand, let alone a million five. You know, we want concerts in there, we want lectures, we want playgroups, we want to use it, we right. want people to be walking down from the library and back and forth. Sure. And if we can find the money, if there is free cash and I don't have the spreadsheets, it just seems better to do it now. The concerns about, and I'm going to say something that, to what Joe said earlier, the concerns about why some elements of this project were not included in the bid ready documents, I share. I think overall, We've had a good job from the architect, and I think we've had a good job from the contractor, but there were some gaps, and when you don't have much leeway, it doesn't take much to eat up the contingency. Um, I mean, that's, you know, that's part of working with outside firms. Nobody's perfect. But I, I think, you know, to your question, to the question about why we're coming and saying, let's just finish it right now, that's really it. I, I, I think you're right, the town will not be tolerant of now we have to do this, now we have to do that. And the other problem will be is that if we want to support the building in part by charging modest fees to groups from outside, wait, we want to use the building, you know, anybody who comes in once and can't park, we, we're all used to, you know, <laughs> fussing around and parking where we can, but they won't come back, they'll go someplace else. So that's, you know, it's, that's part of thinking ahead really to a business plan for this, I think. And if, um, if I'm not mistaken, isn't there something on paper or in process to look at the entire downtown? Yeah, but that's years out. Well, it's, years it's, out. yes, it, it, it is years out. Um, Conway School of Design. But there may be components of that that fit into this downstream, but that's neither the end of the day. Um, but, uh, well, um, any further? I, uh, I think Go one ahead. thing we got to look at with respect to it, there are a couple items on here that, that have to be done, which uh, the 
the inspector said, and that part of that is to finish up this sidewalk in the front. Yep. And tie it in, in the handicapped area in the back. All right. Yep. So those amount of money have got to be spent. So every time we turn around and say they want an extra hundred thousand, it's really not an extra hundred thousand because of some of uh, oversight. See, the, the only big oversight is the window repair. I agree with that. That should have been caught. Yep. But that's got to be taken care of in a, in a historical fashion also. It just can't be passed up and done by local people. So I, I think basically what we're looking at is the, the options we looked at before, the difference is 50000 mm -hmm. Okay. So let's look at it in that respect of 50000 rather than 100,000. We have to do 50. Got to do 50. If we do 50 more and get the whole thing done, I think that's the way we've been forced into having to look at it. it Fred? I understand you. You're going to come up with all sorts no, of No, I just want to ask a question. Just try to the cost <coughs> saving thing. Is there a reason why we have to use concrete for, for your ramps and your sidewalks and everything? I, I think building code for handicap ramps requires you to do concrete. I think I, I'm not 100 sure, but I think about two reasons. Number number one, you know, in our climate and everything, especially con new concrete, yeah. just does not hold up well to ice melts and things like that. And it's a lot easier to be treating and taking care of asphalt sidewalks and things like that than it is concrete. And I know it's substantially it's going to be substantially cheaper. Nobody likes it because of the look. Yeah. But okay. and, I, and I get that. There but, is concrete on the north side. If you're not doing any of this other work we're, we're talking about there is going to be a concrete sidewalk on the north side of the building from the back stairway ramp tower right. about to the mailboxes it's where that uh, concrete ramp is already in a, in a project to be built so it'll be concrete in the, the ramp no it's just the sidewalk. sidewalk okay so and why would ramp, that be asphalt because it was always designed as as concrete uh, as, that's the standard for sidewalks, I don't know, or the preferred method, I, I don't know, we never asked that. Yeah. No, it's not, but I, I don't know. But, and so that's why this is concrete in the front, I, I just, to match up with that, uh, I don't know how much difference it would have been if you did with, with asphalt. Well, um, well, I, I could. Uh, this comes from sitting in the Complete Streets Program Planning Meeting, and Brian and Fred Barron were in it too. I know Keith, who's not here, right? Is thinking that whatever we do with outside money to improve and, and ideally move the, the sidewalks that are now in that part of town, he's advocating very strongly for asphalt for just the reason you're talking about. I mean, it doesn't look as good, but it doesn't crack. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, you put as much melter on it as you want. And yeah. it's repairable and... and right, right. Because at this good. point, actually at this point, there is no sidewalk in front of the town hall and the post office. Right. right. You have the one at the north end of town and the one at the south end of the town, and then you walk across the parking lot. Right. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so I guess that I, the, another reason why I'm going that direction is Paul keeps on asking about whether I agree with it or not. He keeps on asking about our guys and Keith's guys and what they're capable of doing. And uh, we say well, they, they can't do concrete, concrete. You know, they may not be. I don't know if they do curbing and all the other stuff, but no. at least that puts you know. Sure they do. Who put that boom there now? It's there now. Right on there. Yeah, curbing. I, I don't know. Well, Paul's a long time ago. Still there. Well, Whoever well, did, a, did a good job. All right, so I mean, we obviously I put my two cents. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if I can just have a friend, I want to agree with go ahead, go ahead. Dan's point as far as we're in. We've got fifty thousand. We know we have to spend. So really, I want to talk about fifty thousand. I also want to say we're at a point here where we need to make a recommendation for a town meeting. In right. four weeks. Right. If we want to have an inquiry to go into how this got to be where it is now, we can do that after town meeting and 
you know, call witnesses and find out what happened then. But for right now, we have to decide. Yep. On well, the we project. decide what, what uh, we, whether we support it or not. But yeah, well, it ultimately doesn't matter what we say. What we it's think. A, 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 so that's why I think somebody needs to get up there. If somebody's going to ask the question, somebody needs to sell it. Someone okay, so, can so get we're up, not so one of us. In town yeah. meeting, and defended. They want, but for our decision tonight. Well, one of us. Do we want to finish this project as it was intended, or do we want to Fred, not if, allocate the money? Or if, the money? If we say to the town people that we recommend this as written, then it's our responsibility to stand up and explain why. Now, during that time, we can call witnesses to, 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 back, to back up the why, but it's our responsibility to say why we recommend it, okay? Or we don't. And at the beginning of this project, I'll say it again. Fred, you couldn't have said it more often at more meetings no taxpayer money. You couldn't have said it right. more often. It was in the paper. Right. Well, Fred, you did. Far away, okay, it's, but it's now we're up to 800. CPA is taxpayer money too, if you want sure to. Sure, it is. It is. It's a piece, piece, <coughs> piece of it is, absolutely. We're not borrowing. So we're up to 850. Yeah, we're borrowing. We're still spending it. Doing it. Yeah. We're, you're, where do you think that money fell out of the sky, Fred, or what? No. It's, it's, it's taxpayer money. Well, all of okay. this is taxpayer money, yeah. so. It wasn't a tax increase. It didn't result in a tax increase. Not yet. Not yet. Well, it won't if we yeah. go with the uh, free cash here like they proposed. Okay, so you feel, uh, so you, okay, one, one last, just one little thing. Go. Fred's been to a few of our meetings at Frontier for putting together some information, and he's been pounding us for a long time that you guys hired somebody to oversee the whole project and it cost how much was it, Fred? Thirty, forty thousand dollars for this guy to oversee the project. Right now, what we're doing now is fifty thousand. So it cost you fifty thousand dollars for this guy yeah. to oversee your project. He should be the one in front of you talking about the fifty-two thousand dollars. Who's who's this guy? Well, it's, it's the architect, Jones Whitsett. You should have him up front talking about not the parking lot, but the fifty-two thousand dollars. Well, we should be. You should at least explain the twenty-five for the windows. Yeah. Well, it's not only windows, it's also... So you pay a lot of money. Somewhere. You could have had... When you paid that guy to oversee everything. Oh, there'd be a pound of flesh here. Um, but... Um, maybe it isn't quite the way to put it, but... Um, okay. Um, he, he's not here. We can't ask him. We'd like to ask him, because as we know, architects get paid on a percentage of the entire ball of wax. Well, any time they can put more into the pot, they do. Um, okay, so, Brian, are we ready? I guess so. Oh, we don't have to. Oh, go ahead. Well, it's going to be a warrant on it. Right? Maybe. It's a capital expense. Capital expense. It's be a warrant. Why does it have to be done this year? Because the contractor is going to work. They're only talking a smaller amount. It's not going to be cheap about that. Then it's going to be more expensive. How do you know? Separate contractors. The prices expensive. don't go down. Right. Next year, the prices will be bigger than they are. Every now. year, we asphalt roads. Every year. Every year. Next year, we can incorporate the parking lot, town hall. Mm. And those you guys know how to do drain. to shorten the island up before they pave it. Cost of, the cost of asphalt is based on what the cost of oil is. Yeah. So if you're saying they're not going down and they're only going up, then you don't pay attention to what the market is. For the, the market's down. Okay, the material and that's, and that's, A lot of it is, is right. other things too. Well, no, no. No, prices in I mean, general. Yeah, that was a general statement, but we're yeah. talking about whether this price is going to go up or go down. And it has a chance of doing both. Um, we have two selectmen in the room. Are you saying you would not feel comfortable asking our DPW crew to pave that parking lot and put, put a catch basin in, in there? I want somebody to do it. Okay. Um, and, and I don't know how practical it is to go to the contractor who quoted a price for the whole job and say, 
can you cut this part out? What's the price for that? I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. That's, I mean, that might be the, the best thing to do. Break it in two. And I don't know that that means we have to increase our highway budget by some amount that's equivalent. I, so those are questions I don't know the answer to. But I'd be in favor of just getting it done because momentum is a thing. Right, that's one thing I know from teaching physics all these years. Momentum is a thing, whether it's momentum on the basketball court or whether it's in an actual physical collision. And we have momentum right now. We, we just need to get the ball over the, yeah, over momentum the line. Momentum money. Momentum and, money. Right, and, and, I, I, and, and <clears throat> when I first heard about this, the, the first thing that went through on Paul was exactly what you said. We thought we were gonna do this with no taxpayer money, accepting CPA money. Um, that that re and and that and this is the first bit of real uh, taxpayer money because free cash is taxpayer money. You could argue the sale of the building, that little 16k part might be uh, accepted, but this 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 is certainly uh, taxpayer money. And I and I know that that's that to me that that's that's really the thing. It's sort of like a bait and switch or something. Um, but I, I still think big picture, it's better for our town. To get this done one way or the other, we have to split it into two warrant articles where the highway gets a little more budget to take care of that parking lot, then I, I don't have a problem with who does that work, but I don't know how practical that is. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And if we could, and as we move forward with this, do we have an absolute promise? No one comes to this board it's not gonna happen. ever again with 10 cents more for the building on the hill. I could tell you 90%, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, they could find some a landmine or oil tanks in a front park. Stop it, Fred. Stop it. Chuck in next to Dime Forest. We have a 10-year promise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> by then we'll have more CPA money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe. But I think True in relation to never have a to a line. architect or a builder or someone we've contracted with, an oversight on their part, really from our, from our stamp, standpoint, is no longer acceptable. If there's an oversight on their part, they eat it. Somebody eats it. The town's not going to eat it. Uh, 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 we're not going to recommend to the town for them to eat it. They have to absorb it because <coughs> they made the mistake up front. And you have to call people on the carpet that make mistakes. <clears throat> Plain and simple. It's their mistakes. We have to pay for it. All right, we'll take a yeah, vote. Man by man. I say we do the 102, get it over and done with, instead of trying to split it. I support the 102. I think we should split it. 102. I'm against it. 102. That's nice. One, two, one, two. You're 102. Four people for 102, one person to split, one person to, who's against? That's only six votes. And I'm on the split side, so that's... Two splits. Four. That passes. Okay. All right, thirds. It's where we are. Um, it'll, it'll be part of it. It'll be majority. Yeah, it's only a majority. So the, the majority uh, feels that we should go ahead with the project. Um, and I gotta tell you, it'll be a rough one next time. I, I was just, that's that's my only last comment, Fred. And the rest of you is if you come in here for ten more cents, I will not vote for it. Absolutely, positively not. No matter what. I'm willing to put up the twenty-five cents in advance if we can move on to the next topic. <laughs> oh, I like that. Very good. Let's go. Okay. Um, where are we? Okay. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I'm going to go back to the top. We're still on capital. Go to the top of the page. We are at the highway department. I think he's my goal a little quicker. Yeah. Okay. Sure, maybe. Um, do you want me to start reading them out? Yeah, why don't you start and we'll just go. The ones that the dump truck standard replaced that you know. previous, previously purchased as a death payment. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen all this before. This is to replace the plow for the F550 for the highway department. Yeah. The recommendation for how I have it laid out here would be $7,000 of free cash. Yeah. Okay. You want to do them one at a time, or vote on them one at a time, or vote on them as a department? I think it's a, why don't we do the department, okay. and then if there's, if there's an issue, we'll do them as a, as a one, as you got them on the line. How's right. that? Right down the list. Okay. Yeah, Mullet with collection system, twelve thousand seven hundred dollars. Okay. I make a motion we approve cash. those purchases <coughs> from cash. cash. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Done. Highway garage replace roof in fascia boards. Fascia. Fascia. She's out on TV. I make a motion we approve it. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand free cash. Oh uh, wait a minute. Oh, let him finish. We've okay. got to have a discussion. You speedy. Say five thousand free cash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that Any? enough? Is it enough? I believe so. It better be, sir. That's what Fred. We'll keep asked for. That's what keep asked for. Okay. It's two years. Can you recommend that comes from where? Free cash. Free cash. Okay. It comes back for dime. For twenty-five. Do we, make, did we have a motion? I make a motion we accept the highway drive, 25,000. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, good. Um, go ahead. So this will this will make sense in a second. Police department will replace cruiser, and the recommendation will be that we come out of the vehicle stabilization fund. Because I'm recommending that we close the ambulance stabilization fund, which we don't purchase ambulances anymore, and transfer the e Almost sixty-one thousand dollars to the vehicle stabilization fund. Yep. Good. Motion. I'll make a motion that we uh, accept to replace that the cruiser uh, for forty-five thousand dollars and fund it out of the stabilization account. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Done. Fire department that's previously authorized that <clears throat> pumper truck, um, rescue and transport vehicle. Uh, $40,000 out of free cash. Do I have any um, discussion on the fire department's request? 84.4 for a pumper truck and 40000 for a rescue and transport vehicle. I'll make a motion. Sold it to capital. Okay. What's that now? I'm sorry. Capital's all right with that? Yeah. Capital's good with it. I'll make a motion that we accept that recommendation. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Fire station, install monitored fire detection system, $6,000 out of free cash. Discussion? None. Motion? Motion. motion. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Wheatley Elementary School building sprinkler system repairs, forty-five thousand out of free cash. Any discussion? Any questions? Where are we at with it? Uh, yeah, Brian. There's a, I mean, so, April, so April they do the investigation, right? They've done it now. Oh, they done so it. They sent a camera, a small fiber optic camera through the sprinkler system. Cool. They could access it, and they found some pitted pipes that need to be replaced, <coughs> heavy sedimentation, and some. Um, section so they recommend um, flushing the system and then replacing the deteriorated sections of pipe and we have the the other issue of the sprinkler heads all need to be replaced because they didn't pass the NFPA test so that covers everything mm -hmm. this, this is supposed to cover this, everything this in addition to there's 29 <coughs> yeah. in, in the existing so sprinkler account. yeah it so, was 50 now they reduced it to 45 right yeah, I, I read it. You reduced it. But yeah. this is going to preclude the several hundred thousand we were talking about. Three. Mm -hmm. Three. Three hundred, whatever it was. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. I make a motion we approve it. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Town Hall building. Let's I know we've those. gone yeah. through Let's it. Skip those. Please. <laughs> we're good with that. Town office. Town office building. HVAC repairs for the controller and pressure. 
for the controller for the condenser units outside in the pressure tank um, for the boilers. And then metal roof repairs for the $3,500, the repair leaks. Any discussion? Any questions? Town office. I'll, I'll, I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Hilly Park and Athletic Fields. Installation of um, a fence fire station field closest to the road for $1,800 out of free cash. Any discussion? Approval. Approval. Okay. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Library building. Lighting upgrades and replacement for $5,000 out of free cash. Discussion? Questions? Move approval. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Cemeteries. Replace simplicity lawnmower for $6,000 out of free cash. And she was in here to talk about it, so. Yeah. Okay. Do I have a motion? Move of approval. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Uh, what's last? This uh, is our, um, we discussed this last year, doing an annual transfer to the vehicle stabilization account of $10,000. Yep. Out of free, ca free cash to the vehicle stabilization fund. Okay. Maybe we should do more. I was just thinking, so do we have, a, do we feel like that's, a, that's enough? We're doing that? 20 to OBIT, which right. is never going to happen. Well, they'll we'll get something like this. Tell them about the two other accounts, um, well, about the ambulance fund. Right, right. the ambulance fund. Yeah, so there's going to be a couple, you know, 20,000 or something in there. Right. So, but uh, I, I think to stay ahead of this thing, we yeah. need to, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll make a motion that we increase that. Well, let's see what's it, what's it going to do to us to free cash and all this. Stuff? What's the bottom line? Gonna... If all of this is approved as it's laid out, we'll have two hundred eighty-three thousand dollars remaining in free cash. How much you taking out the balance of budget? No. Or the only thing you're taking out is this stuff. That includes a that includes a we can talk about this after. Yeah. Yeah. Suggested two thousand dollars for this. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. I make a motion we take another fifteen thousand out, make it twenty five thousand. Okay. And what will that give us in that fund with everything else? It'll leave us about two seventy in cash. No, I mean in the, I mean in the vehicle. Oh, in the vehicle. Total no, total twenty five. So you're talking no, twenty five now. You take in and more. that ambulance fund will make it twelve point five. 61,000. 61, so that gives us an $86,000 in that fund. No, no, no. no. We're taking 45,000 out. We're taking 45,000 out. 45 out. So what's our total in the vehicle stabilization fund with everything combined? And doing the $10,000 transfer, yeah. $36,000. Thirty-six thousand. The proposal was to add another fifteen on top of that, so that would give us fifty-one, approximately yeah. fifty-one. What, what vehicles do we have on the calendar? There's always. There's well, I, know, I know there's always, but so what seems? So there any? There, there's nothing on the capital calendar next year. There. The following year, um, a couple of them. There is. It's a highway department vehicle. You look it up for it if you want. But there's always something out there. No, I, I know there's always something, but there's one there. Was that Fred? Far down the road. Fred, I mean, when's, when's the next assessment for for the town, for uh, Board of Assessors? We're assessing right now until June 30th. Didn't the um, state go to a five year? Oh, the five year. Evaluation? Yeah, yeah evaluation. Years. I'm sorry. So we're, I think, Four years, three, three or four years away from that. Okay. So. But I think they do yearly updates now. Yeah. Instead of waiting for five. In 2020. What does that mean, yearly? It's like a just a continuous. Yeah. Dump truck. Dump truck file. You need more money. Okay. Not in 2021. Okay. okay. All right. I'm not against it. I'm just no, I just want to know I think 50 is a good bank. Yeah. I mean, that'll take care of. Uh, that's second and we're, you know, we don't buy, we don't have to buy a new truck or anything next year. Right. right. So let's go. Uh, second to the 25. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Moving down, miscellaneous funding request, 250 committee. Okay. $1,000 out of free cash. 
Fred, what do you think? You good? I'm good with that, Fred. I'm good with that. Uh, just, I said last week that I was going to try to come back with figures from Conway and Sunderland. We never got paper figures. We got verbal figures from them, you know, which lead to this asking of nothing. Is, and keep trying to get numbers out of them. Okay. Move. Do I have a motion? I make a motion. We spend two hundred or spend twenty thousand on the two hundred fiftieth anniversary. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Frontier purchase. We did. Health insurance. This is. We've talked about this in the past. This is the thirty-two B payout that we need to share with all right. subscribers. Right, right, right. That's okay. That's right. We got to do it anyway. You got to okay. do it. Move approval. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And well, your benefits payout. There's there's an employee that's resigning effect at the end of April, so we need to pay accrued vacation time. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's good. Help. Okay. We um, talked about the, the transfer at the. Yeah. The bottom. We talked about the transfer to the. Close the ambulance close stabilization the account. Transfer sixty k to vehicle stabilization. Okay. And then the other recommendation. Going into general loan. There's a Mill River um, bank grant account that was reimbursement money from FIBA mm -hmm. going into that account. Um, and I, I'm told in the past the promise was that, that whatever left over money was to be returned to the stabilization fund um, for that project. Right now there's um, there's 166 thousand dollars in there. So I'm not totally comfortable with. Wiping out that fund. I know there's that. I know Army Corps has not signed off. I think there's one more site visit, so I'd rather keep a little money in that account. That's fine. Um, but I think we're comfortable transferring. How much is in general That'll stabilization? stabilization. General stabilization has two hundred twenty thousand. Two twenty. So you're going to add more forty to it. That would be my recommendation. Yeah. I make a motion. We do that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's good. That's good. I like that one. All right. Um, Before we get into the, the bigger budget, want to do, <coughs> do CPA? Yeah. Just look at the CPA ones for you. Yeah. Pretty good. Good. Can I bring up one more item for you? Sure. Uh, every year we put in free cash to, uh, I guess, manage the tax rate. And we've been going at 200000 in the last few years, right. every year. Uh, I don't know if that's the appropriate use of, of free cash to reduce the tax rate or to purchase something or do something with that money instead of reducing the tax rate. And I know what the hell are you, you raising them to? In a meeting or two ago, you, somebody developed a, uh, uh, a line chart showing how our tax rate goes up and down every year. And I think last year I developed one showing neighboring towns and how they were pretty consistent. But I don't know how much free cash they put in to maintain that consistency. So I guess my question is, if it's a finance committee, what, what is our goal? What's our reason for the for the putting in a free cash, do we want to reduce the tax rate as much as possible one year and the next year could go up? Or do we want to make it kind of level? So instead of 200, maybe you want to put in 100 this year and keep the tax rate the same. I, I don't know. Well, I, I thought we just saw that shot and yeah, it looked it. relatively... I don't have that with me. I, I think you're going... I don't know, Brian, are you going up for that this year? What's the point? What are you, what, I mean, yeah, what, I what are you, what are you trying to make? What are you trying to do with the free cash? Is keep the tax rate the same? Or what do you think we should do? No, we're trying to keep it as stable as or we can. Or lower the tax rate whenever you can. Is it Because next year you may go up the tax rate. It, just my general opinion, Fred, is it doesn't make much difference what we do because the if we lower the the, the rate per thousand, the assessment the just go keeps up. going up. Right, but but, but it, maybe it comes down to my question is is that appropriate use of free cash? Well, what do you want to do with it? Well, I know you've got to look at other budget items. Is that something else that you what? use? I, I don't know. 
I'm asking. I'm confused. Or is I guess I'm, I'm not asking for individual items. I'm asking maybe a philosophy of what what we try to do. Fred, with this that. is the, Fred. This, this is the chart here. Yeah. This is this is the chart. It's, it's relatively flat, and it's relatively flat yeah. because. No, that was I saw a different we keep, one than that. But. Well, I mean, this, this, this real flat. I'm not, I'm, this is the rate right chart. Here, but. Depends on your scale you're looking at, but. Okay. Not, not really. No, not really. I mean, there's no, there's no playing no. around with the X, Y here. I mean, from 2005 to 2018, it goes from 1531 to 1534, and there's, you know, little. And, and that's why we put those monies in to try to keep us in that, in that swim stream there. Yeah. Kind of call it that. 2005. 15 was 16, 17. I don't know what the explanation is for that. But well, we you had put in a full amount of free cash that year. You put in a reduced amount, so that went up. So, so, so you want to you want the tax rate to keep going up every year? No, I'm saying should a goal of of the yes. town whether oh, finance oh, the finance committee it is be it to is keep a, goal. a level tax rate. Yeah. Yeah. What is our goal? Our goal is to continue <laughs> to drop that tax rate and, and fund as many projects as we can. And how do you achieve that? And and so far, I see free cash going in is is a willy nilly thing. Just to the free cash is going. If if you think it's going in there willy nilly, then you haven't been around here long, as long as I have. Friends. It's not. And I mean, well, let's let, let's be honest. What is it? It's over taxation. I mean, right. that's what it is. The bulk of it is. So, <clears throat> doesn't it make sense to take those monies and put it back into? where it came from, give it back to the people that support the town. Well, uh, the tax payoff, payoff. Uh, pay off the fire truck two years sooner. Is that a better deal for the town? No. No, no we already talked about that a little bit. I, I don't know what other things you, you know. <clears throat> So that's that's the thing is Fred, we'd like to talk here, but you know, you just throwing things out there to see what they stick. We we do, we've done this. If you take a look at this chart, our tax rate has been flat and we're trending, we're trending down. You know, that's what we're trying to do. And as Paul just said, that's what the free cash generally is. It's over taxation. So we're trying to put it back into the people's pockets who have put it there to begin with. And if you have some recommendation that we should be looking at. Uh, fine, we'll, yeah. we'll do it, but right now I haven't heard Patel say anything. I mean, if there's no, some huge capital project that's coming along way downstream that we need to put more money in back of, well, I, I mean, we haven't really seen that yet, so, I mean, unless we're going to build a new town garage or... Keith, I didn't say that. I just well, I said <laughs> I didn't mean <laughs> safety comments. Um, uh, hey, we're getting a new roof. Come on. Yeah. We're getting a roof. <laughs> we're going to get another 10 or 15 years Come on. on that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Move on. Move on. All right, Fred. Thank you. Good Thank you. Okay. What's next? Where are we? These are the CPC recommendations for CPA funding. I got it right here. I know. I had it. I saw it. It was right here. Tom, you my, I did not. Oh, you do Oh, we got a bingo. All right. Here's okay. Go ahead, Mr. Domino. So the first part from FY19 CPA revenues. Project for that $120,000. These are the transfers into the various accounts. Except for the bottom one is the appropriation to pay the borrowing that's done for the town hall. Okay. I think that's. We'll do all these together. Yeah. Well, let's do yeah. one. Yeah. Right. Any. Any questions? Any discussion about any of these amounts? Prior to voting. No. <coughs> do I have a motion? No. So moved. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Is that all of these? Yes. Everything on the sheet? Yeah. Everything on the sheet. What's the grant the agreement? CPA. Oh. What's the grant agreement? The CPC is asking that any transfer of funds from the town to the housing trust be accompanied by a grant agreement. 
because the housing trust is arguably a separate entity than the town. So what does that mean? They want to be able to claw it back if it's not used. Okay. That's good. Put it put it one Okay. So I'll discuss. Okay. okay. Other. Uh, um. <coughs> Okay, all this is done. A couple other things. Capital's done. We voted down 2,000 free cash, right? For just a tax levy? Yes. Um, so, recommendation on the taxation of marijuana. It's not in the packet. <laughs> Municipalities can, can um, 3%. vote to levy. I think it's up to revise legislation is now 2%. Oh, 2%. Up to a 2% local sales tax. Mm on the sale of marijuana within the town. When did they revise that? It took two percent. I think it was the the revised legislation. I thought it was three, but I, 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 I made I did too, but I couldn't find three percent. <coughs> well, whatever. We can word we can word directly. Yeah, we can figure it out. <coughs> however you want. Is there anybody gonna talk about opening a place or uh, do we need to be concerned about this? I or? haven't I haven't heard any concrete proposals. Okay. This but, is just preliminary. Um, but you get it on the books for if yeah. somebody does. Uh, you can have three in town. Somebody said that at the last meeting. So, so the planning board's putting together bylaws for recreational marijuana. Okay. And I think the recommendation is that it could be a limited three. Um, but that's subject to tell me to vote. Okay. So what do we have to do? Nothing. Um, it would, be, it would be one article if you'd want to tax it. Yeah. 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 Or if you have a recommendation. Tax it. Tax it. Yeah. Well, and tax it. What's the reason to vote for three percent if that's what it is? He's going to word it as such. We yeah. want to do three percent if that's what it is. Let's take the maximum allowed by the state legislature. Yeah. 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 If it's not on the warrant, does this delay? Um, any kind of retail or opening in town? No, no. No. It would delay the taxing of that retail if we don't have a special town meeting before. Okay. All right. Well, we might as well try to go to do it. Um, do it now. Money yeah. now. Whatever yeah. the limit is. Yeah. Okay. I move we approve for agree, <laughs> agree to. <laughs> Uh, I'll second it. Tax on sale of marijuana up to the maximum that the state legislature allows. Thanks, Fred. Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's good. It's like a meals tax. A meals tax. <laughs> yeah. Right. It'll help the meals tax. It will help. <laughs> it will be in there. So. There'll be edibles in there, too. So <laughs> you can add that to your meals. I wanted to. <laughs> Muffin All right, what's next? Muffins. Back to the operating budget. Operating yes. budgets. Uh, I, I, I think we, we should take this by department. Um, the way he's got them blocked on. The way he's got them blocked, and Here. we'll take them slowly. So first we have general government with a bottom line of a 3.5% um, increase at 39719. Are there any line items within this budget that you would like to discuss or have questions about prior to the vote. Like the large print? Oh, yes. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Yes. You very very good. Good. Thank you. You have to pump the budget line up for the live printing. <laughs> That's okay. We'll approve it. <laughs> We've covered all this. Yeah, yeah we have. We've covered We've, yeah. we've I make this. I make a motion we accept the general government. <coughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, next we have cultural recreation services um, from Tritown Beach to the local council on aging for a total of $114,631, a 3.23 increase. Um, any questions, any thoughts? Anybody ever here from Tritown Beach? No. Um, I just assume you'll give them the money. Yeah, and we will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, just the way it goes. Um, I make a motion we approve it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 What do they do with the money the days are not open? 
I think it's ice cream. No, I have no idea. You know, do they pay the help that day? I don't think so. I treat the water. With the money, yes. What? Treat the water. No, they don't treat it. The ducks are treating the water. Peace. <coughs> Peace. All right. I don't know. Public okay. Health. Public health. Board of Health, Health Agent, Solid Waste, Hazardous Waste, Franklin County, 71777, <coughs> increase of 12.84. And we talked to Fran about that as to why we have that increase. And it looks like uh, it's due to full time uh, health agent. Full time health agent, and he warned us about China not taking our trash anymore. Maybe yeah. they should go so, to Chinatown. Yeah. Go right to Chinatown. There you go. So I didn't um, do the math here. I just have a question on this total yep. percentages. Yep. I mean, that's the total percentage of the budget, budget 12.84, or is it the total? Is that that, that's the change in this budget from last year. From, from last, last year. year, yeah. They increased by 12 point, almost 13 percent because of hiring. Because of the 22 percent was the biggest hit. <coughs> it was the biggest hit, and also the solid waste. The solid waste. Yeah. I think that's the hauling. Um, yeah. yeah. Increase. Yep. Okay. It's only getting worse. So we'll be approved. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, public safety. All right. Um, we're going to go from fire department to uh, Franklin County. Um, we have uh, a total of 6.54% increase. Dollar amount 383.982. Any questions, discussion about any of these? Again, we've gone through these this yep. ad nauseum. South, South County is killing yeah. us, but right. Move we approve. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, you're only just starting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. Right of. You can always get help. Yeah, yeah, we need that fund back, though. Um, okay, Public Works Highway Department um, keeps coming in at three seventy eight two five, a nice point nine five percent increase. Nice the job, Keith. We accept Public Works Department. Uh, Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, insurance and benefits. Okay. Um, 10% increase, 784, 843 is the number. There isn't a darn thing you can no, do, do about, about this, wow. even if you want to. Yeah, but we've had, and we've had a couple of discussions about trying to yep. bring some, some type of health care containment costs or incentives to get people off of the insurance. I really and think we, we should, should explore those some more. You know, yeah. You know, we do it at Frontier. Yep. Thousand bucks. And you're supposed to. But I'm all in favor of that more than you'll believe, but a thousand bucks really isn't enough. I mean, if it was me, and you know. Imagine if, well, if, if you had an employer and you had your wife's insurance and he yeah. gave you an extra thousand dollars. Yeah, but I'm part of your trip to Aruba. Yeah. I'm saving them 15,000. Right. right. I know, but a thousand dollars a thousand dollars. Yeah, oh yeah. That's better than, but that's, than, than but him that's, saying you get here. We start, we start the negotiation. You're figuring that the spouse is paying less. That's it? why we. That's why they give them that option, because the spouse has the insurance to cover the whole work. Exactly, but you're assuming that they're that they're buying better, that it's a plus. Right. Yeah. If or they're buying, if they're buying worse, then it's not a plus. Somebody's still paying for it, is it one thousand? The spouse but, is paying for it. Yeah. Well, well right. You know. But it may be a close call of a family. Maybe. But if you could save, but if you could save two people. Yeah. Say if you got 20 employees and you save two people, two thousand dollars versus I agree. how much versus thirty or whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's eighteen. Thirty-two thousand. And they don't care until you get it. Okay. So anyway, the future for the future. For the future. Move we approve. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, unclassified <coughs> loan interest. We reserve fund. Franklin County. That went down. So. Government 19. Physical, so town vehicle, fuel, educational. For a total of 71,440. It went down 1.53%. Um, any questions, discussions? Move we approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Total town operations, 2,188,217. Okay, schools. Um, I 
I think we will vote on this in total and just take a look at each of them. Waitley Elementary, Frontier, Franklin County, Smith. If you have any questions, <coughs> if you'd like to have any discussion about any of these monies that we've obviously already gone through. Um, anybody? Any thoughts? Any motions? Move we'll approve the total school operations. Second, right here. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Done. <coughs> Debt, to total debt service, 131,000. Dump truck two, fire truck. Um. Uh, this is the second, or the last payment on the dump truck and the second payment on the fire truck? It's the last payment on the dump truck. Third payment on the I fire want to say it's the third payment on the okay. fire truck. Third of five? Yeah. The guy wants us to save two thousand dollars, and but he wants us to spend another hundred. I do. I will point out that that we are applying two hundred thousand dollars towards the tax levy, and the way that this is laid out, there's one hundred thirty-one thousand dollars. Yeah. You know that that would come from we're, we're offset taxes. Yes. Yeah. It's going to offset. So, so we yeah. we're in a sense we are, we are we are paying those bills right. payments. With, it is. Right. Yeah. Nice with free cash. Okay. Um, I make a motion we approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Enterprise Fund, Water Department. Oh. Our recommendation is 33.80 for a 2.27 percent increase. Um, that 161 is theirs, right? Um, 166.7.79. I mean 166.7795. Yep. Um, any questions about the enterprise fund? No. Salaries, operations, overhead. Again, I make a motion we approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. So on this account balances sheet, yeah. uh, the free cash is no longer going to be 283, it's going to be 268 because we took an additional 15 out, right? Yeah. 268, 641. All right. <coughs> That'll be 59, right? We're adding 15 to that. Okay, so that's going to be 50,092. That's it. That's it. Okay. Anything else, Tony? Into it. <laughs> well, it's only seven. It's only seven thirty. You got thirty minutes. I'll give you thirty minutes. Yeah. You want to look at the the uh, budget projection? For the sure. What happens if the three percent CPA <coughs> doesn't come through? Think about. The state, state doesn't match. If the state doesn't match 100 percent, right? Then the town has less oh, what the less state share. So Small what does that do to the CPA money that we're spending beforehand? We could be in this. We don't have it yet, but we're spending it in the next 20 years. That's what they committed for. For the for the debt, right? Um, the town can only obligate the town's share to pay debts, future debt service. So we did. So it's still, so it's still yeah. covered, that 3%. We're still, still covered. Is covered. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. What are you looking at? Well, we're looking at this, this one here. Uh, budget projections. Right here. Right here. Which 
one you're going to look Somewhere at first. projected non tax revenue. Uh, well, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, what I got. Okay. okay. And just give an overview. Yeah, you got it. These are, uh, let's start with expenses on the right. This, this sheet summarizes <coughs> the sheets underneath it. Right. Um, so there's appropriations of, of $5,602,000. And that's mostly the, um, mm. the operating budget. And free cash with some, um, free cash items we voted on. The other available funds, the enterprise funds, CPA funds. We all have to account for those as expenses. Um, so we have those items there. That's a total of, of $5,982,000 in expenses. We go to the revenue side. The tax levy is calculated by taking all other non property tax revenue, mm -hmm. subtracting it from the total that we need to raise, and that gives us the tax levy. So, other sources of revenue we have are local receipts. State receipts, revenue specific purpose, that's our free cash and various other accounts, and then revenue that we vote to reduce the tax rate. Uh, the 696 that we get from the state, yeah. that includes the money that the schools get? The 696. Yep, yeah, the 696, 249. It includes chapter 70 or whatever. That includes the chapter 70. Um, that includes chapter, chapter 70. 70. Chapter 90, whatever we get. <coughs> the only thing that, that there, are, there are two offset accounts that, that come through. One is school choice, yeah. um, school choice receiving tuition, which Patty accounts for separately in her budget when she breaks up the total costs. Mm -hmm. And then the, the same applies for the library. For a small two thousand dollar grant. Um, so all said and done, it, it's probably closer to um, four hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's unobligated that that we can use. The town gets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But but some of it's your mark for yeah. obviously chapter seven. It's good. So that gives us a projected uh, projected tax levy of four million one hundred fifty nine thousand dollars. Um, as she's down here, last year's tax levy was $4,062,478. Um, so the tax levy is projected to go up um, $96,000. For a, for 15.46, right? Yep. Okay. So, that, so that assumption, I looked at the, the increase in assessed values over the past 10 years, and we're averaging about $4.5 million in increase in assessed value. Now, some of that's new growth. So there, it's not just each individual house is being assessed at right. It's a, right. Yeah. Okay. So last year, new growth was it's pretty good. It was pretty good. It was over $100,000. Yeah. It's um, probably going to be that way this year, too. What did you put for a new growth number? Um, I was really conservative. Conservative, but yeah. that's a good idea. Lynn was always very conservative, yeah. which pays off in the end. So that would be the projected tax rate with a, with a $4.1 million increase in assessed value. There's a couple other scenarios underneath it. If we had no growth, which I don't think is going to happen, no. we're up at 1571. If we get 2.1 million somewhere halfway in between, we'd be at 15.58. Or if we get over that, hypothetically 6.1 million, we'd be pretty level with where we are mm -hmm. yeah. now. Um, one of the things we need to be careful of is proposition two and a half. Um, in, the town's actually in pretty good shape. You see the what, what, what it was in FY17. We had an excess levy capacity of 692,000. $692,000 that went up um, the following year, $853,000. So the projection here would be um, that it would be closer to $940,000. Um, because again, 
it, it's not your tax levy that can increase by two and a half, it's your levy limit that increases by two and a half plus new growth. Yep. So your levy limit would <coughs> here is that that would go up to around five point one million dollars in the tax levy. And we're nowhere near that. We're, we're not anywhere near we're that. Really Again, this, this is a, yep. a very conservative Absolutely. estimate of new growth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sixty one thousand. All right. What we have to be careful of is that that our tax levy is going up more than our levy, um, levy limits going up. If it's going up at a faster rate, we're going to start eating into that levy capacity. Um, and even with, the, even with the proposed increases now, we're, we should be fine with that. Okay. Our excess levy capacity should grow. Okay. Um, Boy, but that's that's proposition two and a half. Well, that's what Fred wants. <laughs> I remember when we were knocking on that door yeah. hard. <laughs> <coughs> didn't really thought about yeah, so I was, like, I, was I was a little confused about it. So the he so means what? Yeah, he even does. though the operating budget is up about a the operating budget itself is up about hundred fifty something thousand dollars because um, state charges are lower, at least for the governor's proposal, and state aid is higher, is about sixty sixty thousand dollars compared to last year that we're gonna gain. So that's why the tax rate, that's why the tax levy is only going up about 90000 mm -hmm. instead of the full amount of 150000 150000 Is there any value in putting more free cash into this? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my well, well, I trust that I asked the question every year, so it would be, yeah. be remiss if I didn't <clears throat> ask it, but I... No, we're, I mean, we're set for I me. Mean, when you look at I think we station free cash. We kept the tax rate. Tax rates good. very reasonable. Well, that's still not very reasonable. Well, that's, if that's that growth numbers are conservative, I mean that still yeah. may even come yeah. down a little bit. Right. You know? And right. you're still advancing the town into the 21st century. You're not. Yeah. You're not wondering if, how we're going to pay for the truck. No, right. no. There's always the option to fall. <coughs> once we get once those, we're once we get those those values certified. And if we see that that's going to be a tax decrease by a significant amount, let's say our new growth is, or our assessed by growth, twelve million dollars, we're going to be dropping the tax rate from fifteen thirty four to fifteen oh four. We could always reduce. Well, it takes a special town meeting, but we could always reduce the amount of free cash that we put in at that time to rescind that vote and put in a different amount. Um, but I, again, it's the question of whether you want to. Tax people more, people less. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, um, so. no. I want to. I want to tax. I want the rate to go down. I'd like the assessment to go down, but that's that's not, that's not, not going to happen. Well, you can't and, have your cake and eat it too. No, I know that. <laughs> I know that. We we work awful hard to keep the rate down, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, your, taxes your, your taxes keep <laughs> going up. You know, <laughs> your your assessment. It is <laughs> your. It's one of the current. Yeah, it's one of the you are. Well, the one thing that we could really that everybody can measure and see is what the tax rate is. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's, that's right. right. You know, that's their big concern. That's right. They look at the rate. They they look at the bill, but they look at the rate. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that. say you know my neighbor in South Deerfield's paying. Right. Oh yeah, we're looking pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Deerfield's pretty good right now. And like you said, that issues big on the weight. We. Technically, we are in pretty good shape financially. We have money in our savings account, and you know we we have some pretty decent equipment now, and all the departments seem to have gotten what they wanted. So we're doing a pretty good job, I think. And no vehicles next year. Wow. Well, yeah. And about forty-eight thousand dollars of commodity will pay off that last dump truck this year. Yeah, that's the last pay down. That's right. And. And we made a fight for it. Yeah. They had to go back, do their own work, dig up, come up with numbers, yeah. and present them like they should have. Like the they should have in the beginning. Right. It wasn't just a gimme, it would, they had to make it work. Yeah. I think they're getting the picture. But we have to take advantage of it. We've had some situations over the last two years that put us in this situation. I mean, we've been, we've been you know, Fairly frugal and everything, but the the cell tower, you know, yeah. that certainly that certainly that was, good. That was that a was, nice punch. That, that was, I mean, think about when uh, uh, 
uh, bear or yeah, when they, you know, when that whole LLC and this and that thing, and we, you know, we had a windfall tax wise, you know, from that. I mean, that helped for you sitting in it, right? Yeah, you know, so, yeah. So there's been a few things. It just hasn't been, you know, things have gone our way. Yeah. When I first started on this committee, you know, <laughs> they were. I, I came in and these guys were all crying the blues, like and I was like, you know, what are you talking about? <laughs> it was tight. Yeah, it was tight. It was. We weren't buying anything. No. I can remember when the excess capacity was pretty low. And that's and that's it part of what no, Trent was talking about, about those years where we would defer some of these capital items right. because of that. <laughs> they didn't have any money. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we got hit a couple back to back. So then Fred says, well, your chart goes down, your chart goes up. Remember the one he drew? Yeah, right. yeah, and I'm not quite sure where how he came. I don't know. Like those and I'm not going to be compared to Hatfield anymore. No, but <laughs> but those were there were good legitimate reasons for why we had to do that. Right. But what we have to do, if we can, is keep that projection on a ten-year period and every year to get what we're supposed to get. Yeah. Even if we have to pinch. That's right. Because if you don't, once you back off a capital item and, and defer it to the following year. You're getting yourself into you're just, a hole. The we is, we didn't recommend the school budgets. That's how they used to have to bring it up we, on town we, meeting we, floor. We, yeah. You know, on town, town meeting that. floor, having yeah. those discussions, all those people slash that are school are raise oh, their hand. Yeah. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. Thank God those gate days are done. But yeah, well, we're in a position now to put an extra $15,000 into the vehicle yeah, fund. Into the vehicle fund. Right. So. And the way we're assessed at Frontier, we'd be foolish not to support it because our assessment is going down right now. Right, yeah. it's probably going to stay right. going down. Yeah, right. yeah. So let's really help out neighboring friends out. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, it's quarter of eight. I make a motion we adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're done.